Hello and welcome to this quick walkthrough of Zillis Cloud. Zillis Cloud is a purpose-built cloud-native vector database that stores, indexes, and searches for billions of embedding vectors to power enterprise-grade similarity search, recommender systems, anomaly detection, and more. Built on the popular open-source vector database Milvis, Zillis Cloud allows for easy integrations with OpenAI, Cohere, Hugging Face, LangChain, Llama Index, and more. So let's get started. You're going to go to zillis.com, and then we're going to log in or create an account. Once you log in and create an account, you should see some projects, and we're going to go to the default project. Once we go into the project, we'll see a series of steps provided by Zillis Cloud on how to get started quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a database. When you're creating a database, you can name your database something such as ASDF and use a cloud provider such as AWS, Google Cloud, or Azure, and, which is coming. And then we're going to go to the bottom and we're going to give a password to our database admin. Then once we have created this database, we'll wait for it to create. But while it's creating, we can click in and we can see a cloud endpoint, which tells you what the URI is and what the port is. And then we can go to collections, which is where all your data will be stored. And you can either upload your own data, but for this example, we're gonna use example data. This example data is a set of Medium articles where the title of the medium articles have been turned into vector embeddings. And we're going to show how vector search works in Zillis Cloud using the title embeddings of these articles. And I'm just gonna pause right here while the articles load. Great, now that our collection is loaded, we can click into it to learn more about it. From here, we see the collection details page where we can click import now to either upload a JSON file or import a file from S3. And we can also see the index that we are using, which is the title vector. And we can see that we're using the L2 metric for our index. Now let's look at our schema. And in this case, we can see that this example data has eight fields, then an ID, the title vector, the title itself, the link to the article, the reading time, the publication, the amount of class it has, and the responses that it got. Now let's take a look at our data. We're going to see the ID here, the title vector here, which is a really long vector, 768 dimensions. And we'll see the title, the link, the reading time, the publication, the amount of class it has, and the responses that it got. And last but not least, we're going to look at vector search. And so I'm not going to input a 768 dimensional vector here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into data preview and I'm actually going to search based off of the title vector here. So we're going to search for using a Golang pattern to write better TypeScript. And I'm only going to look for the top five and we'll see that it returns these five articles using a Golang pattern to write better TypeScript using TypeScript with MongoDB running a Jupyter Notebook in VS Code. You should try the new TensorFlow thing and how to debug in Xcode. Now, finally, we can also look at narrowing down our search to only articles that were published in Towards Data Science. So see here, and you'll see that these five articles are slightly different um, and they're all published in Towards Data Science. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.